Hello and welcome to Let's Fix Computers. Um, we've got a late 2008 MacBook Pro here that has got um, green artifacts all over the screen. Very common fault. This one is hopefully caused by a busted capacitor on the GPU power rails. So this is similar to the C9560 video that I've done previously. This one should be C7771. So my first time doing this one, let's strip it down and take a look. Okay, uh, I lied, it's C9560 on this laptop as well. C7771 is on the really old ones, it appears. Um, so in case you haven't watched my previous video on C9560, um, this is the power rail for the graphics card in the laptop. Uh, now what this does, this provides a regulated and smooth supply of power to the GPU. It starts out with an input up here um, and various other inputs around here to tell it to switch on. And on the output, we have this fella over here. Now C9560 is here. This is a smoothing capacitor. Now what happens, if we zoom in and take a closer look at that, um, these two transistors here are going to switch the power supply on and off very quickly. And this gives, uh, this gives steady pulses of on, off, on, off. Then this coil or inductor then smooths that into a steady line. And these two capacitors then take out all the little tiny spikes and, and sags in that signal. Now, if C9560 dies, then you're gonna get tiny little spikes and ripples on the output. So this voltage here, 1.8 volts, is gonna be stuttering ever so slightly. And that's gonna cause the GPU to have a hissy fit and throw green everywhere. So if we replace C5, C9560, we get a nice smooth 1.8 volts dead on. With no, with no ripple, no fluctuations, and that's gonna fix our problem, hopefully anyway. So, now if we switch over to the board view, we can see on the schematic of the circuit board, C9560 is down here. Um, so it's on the other side of the board, so we're gonna take the board out, and we're gonna change this fella over. Okay, now we've already got a lot of bits and pieces missing from this one, where I've been taking a look at it. Uh, it actually came in for a completely different issue, failed hard drive, which is why the hard drive is missing. Um, but it has now turned into something a lot more problematic. So um, I've taken some screws out and then I realized it was probably gonna be this, this capacitor. So I stopped and thought, okay, let's turn on the cameras and see if we capture something interesting. So first thing we've got to do is get this logic board out. Uh, the capacitor that I'm looking for will be on the other side of it. So let's take this all apart and see what we find. Something is holding on and I'm not sure what it is. Oh, I know what it is. It's the battery connector underneath. I think we can flip it out. Okay, let's take a couple more dits off to give ourselves better access. So this speaker assembly needs to come off. And we'll give that a quick brush to get the dust out of the way. All right, there's our guy. Let's fire up the hot air gun. Now it may look like I'm nowhere near the capacitor at the moment. I'm actually pointing directly to it. However, I'm keeping my distance just to preheat the board first because this board will soak up a huge amount of heat before the solder will melt. So I want to just build up the temperature of the board and then we'll go in close and actually melt that solder. All right, let's do it. There we go.
All right, that's our new cap fitted. Let's plug it in and see if it'll work. Okay, right, that was a total mess, but we got there in the end. What's the bet this isn't gonna work, just to rub salt into that wound? Power! And... A bootable hard drive. And focus. And ignition. Okay, we have white screen, that's nothing new. Right, there's nothing funky on the cursor, that's a very good sign. We won't know for certain until we get into an operating system. There's also nothing funky going on with the spinner or the Apple logo. That's also a good sign. Hey, there's no green. We are Winra. Awesome. We'll need to give this thing a burn in, you know, like leave it running for a while to make sure it's not a fluke. Uh, I'll also need to leave it switched off overnight because these capacitors have a nasty habit of recovering when you put a lot of heat onto them. Um, so we'll, uh, firstly I'll leave it switched on for a bit, then I will switch it off and leave it overnight, then I'll try it again tomorrow, and if it still works then, then we will be successful. And then I can actually put a new hard drive in, well, a new SSD into this thing, and get it back to the customer. Right. Thank you very much for watching everyone, I will see you next time, bye bye.